So this is the Berlin Crisis 1961, specifically focusing on the build-up to it. Um, the first cause behind it is the refugee problem faced by the East. Um, between 1949 and 1961, you've got approximately 4 million East Germans leaving to the West and heading over for a better life, better economic and political opportunities in West Germany. Um, as well as that, you've got this idea of a brain drain, where the fact is that the, the really intelligent people within the East, the skilled craftsmen, um, the high-skilled jobs, they are all moving to the West, and that's m having a massive impact on the, the economy of East Germany. The final cause of the, this kind of increasing tension is uh, Premier Khrushchev's Berlin Ultimatum in 1958. He puts forward the idea to President Eisenhower that the all Western troops need to leave the city of Berlin and it should become this neutral, free city. The key events of the uh, Berlin build-up are then 1960, the Paris summit. Khrushchev and Eisenhower are due to meet in uh, May 1960. However, the summit never takes place because a week and a half before the summit, the Soviet Union shoot down a US spy plane um, that's been flying over the Soviet uh, territory. They shoot them down, they put the pilot on trial. Uh, it's detailed quite interestingly in uh, a film called Bridge of Spies, well worth watching to kind of give you a bit of an understanding behind what happened. Um, again, Eisenhower refuses to apologise for this kind of the flights over Soviet territory, and so uh, they cancel the visit and they cancel the summit, and it doesn't take place. A year later, there's another summit in uh, Vienna in 1961. We've got a new president this time, John F. Kennedy, the young Catholic president of the United States. Now, Khrushchev feels that he's going to be able to bully uh, Kennedy and push Kennedy around because he's got a lot more experience than Kennedy. However, Kennedy puts his cards on the table, reasserts his belief in the Truman Doctrine, and really makes it clear that he will not be, he's not going to be bullied around by Khrushchev. Um, so, because of this, the consequences from this are on both sides, both in the US and in the Soviet Union, there is a massive increase in defence spending. Defence budgets will go up significantly. Um, they, they talk about putting lots more money into their defence budgets so that they're clearly showing they're preparing for conflict between both the USA and the Soviet Union.